What's going on, people of YouTube? Welcome to a very special video today. This is about the Wii U. Remember that? Maybe you don't. In case you don't, today marks the... Yes, uh, so on November 18th of 2012, the Wii U was released in the United States and Canada. That was also, from my knowledge, from research, uh, the Wii U, when it launched in the U.S. and Canada, that was the very first country it launched in. And that's why I'm kind of considering, like, the worldwide anniversary um, on that day. So that's kind of cool. Uh, by the way, before I talk more about the Wii U, the, the Wii on November 19th, which is Sunday, will be turning 11 years old. But uh, I'm not going to really talk much about that because that was uh, two generations ago. The Wii U was most recent. Um, and there's also a bunch of other reasons why I'm talking about this. Other than it being the last console before the Switch. Um, but yeah, I just... I'm also making this video because I love the Wii U. And I wanted to give it like a little bit more attention for once. So, yeah. Why did it do badly? Well, you know, lack of games. First and third party. Yeah, especially third party. But there was like gaps in between. And that was just really bad. Like, and what I mean by, what I mean by gaps? Well, there would be like several months. I guess you could call that drought season if, if you want to call it. I just came up with that. Where, okay, you know, it's like drought seasons, like where there's no rain. Okay, well, in the gaming world, I guess, I'm just making this up, this term up, but a drought season could be where there's no games, no software. It's like, or, or at least not very many. Not any that people really care about, at least. I'm not talking about indie games. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of those either. Um, but yeah, it's just... You know, it was a great console, but it was just poorly marketed. Maybe that, you know, Sotoru Iwata could have had something to do with that. And I don't want to... I hate talking bad about him because it's like... I feel like he's... Uh, religion aside, I feel like he's looking down at me. And, <laughs> you know, it's not like he was a bad person. If it was a bad person, I wouldn't care what they thought. But he was a good person, I think. And I just hate talking bad about him. I'm not trying to, but I just can't really help it. You know, but I mean, you know. Anyway, yeah, it was a great console, just marketed to horribly, and at least now with the Switch, I think they have done better. So, yeah. But the Wii U was a great console. It had a bunch of, a lot of great games. Yeah, I didn't care too much about Nintendo Land, but it had Super Mario, 3D World, Mario Kart 8, the regular, the base Mario Kart 8, and I had DLC, which the DLC was included in Deluxe on the Switch. Uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, obviously. I didn't really need to add the Wii U part in it. Uh, Pikmin 3. Was there a Metroid game? No, I think there was going to be, but it got cancelled. Yeah, but there was a lot of great games. Uh, Star Fox was okay. It wasn't great, but I thought it was decent. Uh, we got some HD titles of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. Uh, I think I prefer Wind Waker more, though. And then we got Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that came on the Switch. I actually keep forgetting that the upcoming DLC is also coming to Wii U, because every now and then I'll catch myself saying, the DLC is coming exclusively to Switch. You know, the Wii U is just... I don't mean so bad, not bad, but it was marketed so badly that I actually forget that Breath of the Wild even was released on it. I know that's pretty sad too, but <laughs> it it's true though. But yes, the DLC is coming on the Wii U, for those of you who only had the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild. So, yeah. And, you know, another uh, reason... Well, this isn't so much that it sold badly, because the Switch didn't exist then, but, um... In a way, I'm kind of glad it sold badly. Like, I mean, I don't. I'm not glad it sold badly, but... Nintendo said the Switch came from the Wii U's failure. And I'm just thinking, if the Switch... Or no, if the Wii U didn't fail, I don't think we'd have the Switch. I feel like we would have another Nintendo console that would be like a Wii 3 or a Wii U 2, whatever they would call it. And we wouldn't have hybrid gaming. I mean, we sort of had it with the Wii U, but that, that didn't really count. That wasn't true handheld gaming. I guess you could say this still isn't true handheld gaming. 
even though it is, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It was just a good system, but, you know. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. I'm going to quit blabbering on. Wanted to make the short video of the Nintendo Wii U 5th year anniversary. I wanted to say more good things about it, but I I just couldn't help but just to say like, bad things about it because it was a smart, uh, commercial failure. But the Switch already almost outsold, well, no, it has outsold half of the Wii U. The Wii U is 13.6 million units as of March 30th or 31st of this year. It sold 13.56 uh, million, I believe. It, yeah, 13.5 or 13.6 million. And the Switch, drum roll. Okay. 7.6 million. That's not the exact number. That's, that was as of September 30th. And then recently they were like, oh, it just sold over a million more in October with Mario Odyssey. Okay, so it has to be at least at almost probably 9 million now, but, you know. But just look how well. The Switch, probably by next spring, will have outsold the Wii U by at least half a million, or close to half a million. And I, th I think by spring of next year, the, the Nintendo Switch will be about 14 million units. Maybe 15 million units, but I think closer to 13 million. Uh, I've seen some people think it's going to be 20 million units. Uh... Okay, I, I, I don't think it'll be that high. Hey, if it is, that'd be great. But I don't think they manufactured that many. Unless they... Maybe they... Well, then again, they were able to get a few more in this year, so... Or this fiscal year, so I could be wrong. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Thank you for watching. Happy anniversary to the Wii U. Thank you, Nintendo, for making the Wii U and the Switch, even though you did a terrible job at marketing it. Good luck to you guys with the Switch. Hopefully that success continues. We are getting a lot of third-party support in terms of more ports, but hey, it's third-party support. I've been your host, and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully on some better news.